How's it going guys? Today we are checking out the Blackstar Amped 2. Let's go. Firstly, I'd like to say thank you very much to Blackstar for getting this in my hands. Thanks a lot. Some of you may have seen my demo of the Blackstar Amped 1, which was designed to turn any pedal board or modeler into a performance ready rig. This does way more than that. And for me personally, it is a product I've been waiting for for such a long time. It does everything a 100 watt head would do and more with multi effects built in into a little box that weighs just over a kilo. Since I just got this after the embargo was lifted, you may have seen demos on this already. So I'm gonna try and keep it as brief as possible, but this is a very capable piece of kit. So forgive me if I natter on a fair bit about it. Amp 2 is designed to be everything a 100 watt head would be, but in pedal format with multi effects built in. And just to walk you through what you get, it may look like a sea of knobs, but it is very simple to use, absolutely foolproof. It's really well thought out. In the amplifier section here, you've got a three band EQ, again, a voice control, which I'll talk about in a second, and a master volume. So everything you'd expect to find on the front of an amp. Just to tell you what the voices are, you get USA, UK, and classic. USA is an all purpose clean channel, great to start off. The UK voicing is basically a crunch channel and has a fair amount of grunt in it if you turn the gain up. And classic is even heavier, a great starting point if you want to get in, into the metal side of things. <laughs> Moving on to the fun stuff, you get a choice of different drives, boost, drive and fuzz. Boost is as it says on the tin, it's just a clean boost, great to add to any of the three voices. Drive is an overdrive and fuzz is so much fun, it's ridiculous, just listen to this. See, we're already having loads of fun. We haven't even got to the effects yet. Moving over to the modulation section, you get four different effects. Chorus, flanger, tremolo, and phaser. 
All of them are dead easy to control. You get three knobs, it's all really simple. And what's cool with the chorus and flanger is if you turn up the, uh, the depth knob past 12 o'clock, the chorus turns into a flanger. You see it appear. Moving over to the delay section, you get three different delays, linear, analog, and shimmer. All of them sound great. And what's really cool is if you ever want to deep dive and tamper with anything further, if you hold down the shift button up here or the tap tempo button, you can control even further the different timings, different presets. You can choose between dotted eights and triplets and what have you. You'll see them all appear on the little screen at the bottom. You've also got a choice of three different reverbs, room, spring, and plate. My personal favorite is the plate reverb. And what's cool with all of these buttons here, the modulation, the delay, and the reverb buttons, they're all latch controls. So if you held onto each of those buttons, you it, they call it emphasis, where you get even more of the effect. But it's basically an extra layer of excitement. So if you're on the shimmer delay, for example, you would hold down the delay button and the delay volume turns way up so that you get way more of it in essence. For an extra layer of tonal variety, you get a choice of three different power valve responses, EL84, EL34, and 6L6. My personal favorite being EL34, and you get scalable power. You can have maximum headroom 100 watts, you can switch it down to 20 watts for smaller venues should you so desire, and one watt for my case right here. This is a basic test of the responses. I'm gonna go from EL84 to 6L6. I'll list it on the screen as well so you know which one I'm on. <laughs> I'm genuinely mind blown, really impressed by how much they've put into such a small package here, and it's good quality as well. Moving over to the back, just to sum up what's here, it's everything you'd expect to find on an amp head. You've got your input there, which is where your guitar signal will go. You've also got a quarter inch out, an effects loop there, send and return, your balanced outputs, you've got a direct out, which is what I'm gonna be using for today's demo. You've also got a headphone out for silent playing and or recording, should you so desire. You've also got a USB there, so you can access the archetype software, like with the Amp One, so you can choose between different cabs, mic choices, etc. Really helpful if you are recording once again. Moving over to this side, you've got nine volt power out, so you can power your pedals, which is absolutely brilliant, so. <laughs> all the more of a reason to get one and it saves you an awful lot of real estate you don't have to hoof around a giant pedal board anymore you've also got cab out as well so you can hook it up to any cab of your choice and rock Yeah. <laughs> 
Just to sum up my final thoughts of Amp 2, I think it's an incredibly capable piece of kit. Regardless of which genre you represent or which musical situation you happen to be in, it's got something to offer for you. And my recommendation would be, if you've just got one out the box and you want to quickly turn it into something you can play live straight away, is to start off with a USA voicing, which would be your all-purpose clean channel, then pick a drive to suit your taste. That way from the drive button, you've got two channels operatable from the one button. Then dial in your effects to suit you. If you're in more of a rocky situation, do the same thing, but start with either a UK or classic voicing. Thanks very much for watching this video, you guys. I hope you've liked what you've seen. Please make sure you like, subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and leave a comment on the Amp 2 as well. I'd love to know your thoughts on it. Thank you very much again to Blackstar for sending it over for me to try out. I'll see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.